Here we are, on our way up to Man of the Baden, site of the Baden battlefield. We've got a couple more levels of fortifications to get through and we're almost there. In the meantime, let's look at the view across the bay. Absolutely stunning, beautiful part of the world. And what it does show to you as well, if you look further down on either side, you've got the high headlands. Very difficult for anyone to land a force. So this is the weak spot. This is the way in. And as you study the area and look at the way things are laid out, where the trenches are, where the walls and the forts, you can see how heavily guarded and defended this potential weak spot right in the heart of the Glamorgan Territory is. All the way over there, all the way to Upper Thorpe Power Station. Amazing. Look at that. How bloody weird is that? Long, difficult coastline to defend. The only real weak spot. So you can see why so many battles happen here. It's the only way in, really. Well, basically, you've got a bit of land there, which, which, actually, if you avoid the settlement side to side, that probably wouldn't have been too much different how things were uh, several hundred of years ago. You've just got a few, a few dwellings, a few farms, and open countryside with soft, rounded hills, uh, high defensive ground, uh, all around there, right the way through. Mm. Yeah, daunting prospect for a would-be invader, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you can see about it when you get there's entrenchments just there. Look, there's in front of you. Oh, right. Oh, these ones here. Yeah, yeah. running. Oh, I can see now. Yeah. To where we are. Yeah. Yep. Uh, and they run all the way down. There's also, if you look on the maps, you will see them in these wooded areas. Yeah. Obviously, at the, at the minute, it's a bit difficult to get in there. But you, you stand, we'll go in there now, and we'll, we'll stand on them, and uh, yeah. Oh, fantastic. Oh, that's here we are, at the first fortifications. Brilliant. Yeah, look. Once you get in there, Ross will be, you'll have a much better view, buddy. Yeah, okay. There's, there's the map Stun. So he's shedding blood for the cause now. It's got a bee sting. So I'm on his baby. And the entrenchments that are in front of us are just here. There you are. It's exactly where we are. Fantastic. There's those entrenchments. Still there. Amazing, really. I think how much stuff's been built on and ploughed through over the years, and it's still there. Let's give you an idea. That's where the landing place would be. And that's a big pile of dung. <laughs> Here we are, coming up to the trenches. If you come around to the bottom of the field, you can get access easy enough. Gates open. Look at that, trenches everywhere. <laughs> Little army we are. And you tells me you get there bigger than you realise. Look at that hill over there, I love that hill. Beautiful hill over there, isn't it? It's a lovely shape to it. Here we are, look. Look at that. You would think this is a World War I site for in Belgium or something, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah. You think that it's 1,500 years old. 1,500 years, yeah. And they're proper trenches, aren't they? It's not just a little ditch. Yeah. But look at the way they placed them. They haven't placed them facing downwards, do they? They placed them almost that way, because that's where they perceive the threat from coming. I mean, nobody in their right mind is going to come up that valley, are they? Right. You know, so they're going to obviously try and encircle and come up a flat, a longer flat, a piece of ground. Rather, that's where it, I'm guessing that's where they built them in that direction. What's well, so they won't, so they'll be coming up this you way from the sea here. then? You wouldn't no. come up here, the valley there, or the valley the other side. Uh, you'd have to be crazy to, to, to march an army up there, wouldn't you? Why is that then? Well, <laughs> missile, missile throwers, any, any type of missile throwers, I mean, you're going to get slaughtered when you're coming up there. I think high... Uh, High ground is key, isn't it, in a battle? Yeah, especially in those days, especially, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. So the threat was people coming along this way, and I that's what they want to stop. Yeah. Well, it seems to be the way they orientated yeah. these trenches, isn't it? I mean, across from that side there. Whether these were uh, hastily dug by the Saxon army, if they if they come in and they settled on this mountain, they're looking for the highest and point. So they could stand of it. And then they got surrounded on you, and they just hastily dug these. I mean, who knows? By, by the yeah, I think in the Alan Wilson Blackett version, isn't there covering the walking, isn't it? They, uh, 
is a pre-prepared position that okay. the British Army drew them onto, and then they could hold out to the top. Okay. And so the Saxons ended up in a situation where they think they got them trapped, and they're in a siege, but actually... They, they didn't. They've now got nowhere to go, because there's more armies arriving. Yeah, yeah. And you can't ship the blokes off the top either. No, no. Interesting. So we are baiting right in. Fantastic. It's, it's crazy how accessible these places are. They're free, you know? Yeah. We're just, just not publicised at all. And the views. No. Even without the history, the views are stunning, aren't they? You've just got to do a little bit of homework and you're going to get off your ass and get out and actually go and have a look. And it's, yeah. You're rewarded with something like this then, mm. you know, mm. which you can't put a price on, can you? A couple of options. Okay. You can either cut across that way. This is a better route to go, I think. Let's go that way then. For the trenches, isn't it? And, but it's a bit harder. Yeah, you can see the trenches here. But you also see um, Mike's Cadillac Wood. Oh, of course, yeah. And you see the valleys coming up. And then you'll see the curve then of Mice Cadillac over the other side, right the way across. But that goes quite a, quite a big area. Yeah. Right the way across to them ones we saw the the other side. All right. So if we, perhaps we can go around that way and... Yeah. Then cut back somewhere, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So again, so you see that the trench down here, isn't it? It's difficult yeah, to get in or out of yeah, here, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, there's another one there. But you can see where they put the, the, the trenches there, because if you came up that that mountain, you'd realise that there's another valley here. And you can't and move And you'd have in. to come up, try, maybe try and flank around that way, but then you've got all these defences then there. You'd have to go around the top, so wouldn't it? explains you? where they've situated them there. I'm trying, so where they're trying to funnel them to, that's what you're trying to work out, isn't it? At the top there, you've got nowhere to go, really, have you? Just the other side. You could only go down the other side. But wouldn't side. they be coming in that way, don't you think, from the coast, perhaps? Well, it seems I to me like they're it, trying to funnel them if they down came, there for if some they reason. If they came in from the coast there, then that's a big open ground. You're going you're gonna to be seen very easily in there. Like yes. Coming in that way. It's almost like they've been funneled that way. They can't come this way for whatever no, reason. They can't, they can't. They, they, they've been you funneled. Come up there. It'd be suicide coming up there, wouldn't it? Yeah, at least trenches are forcing them to go that way, aren't they? Yeah. Across there somewhere. And I guess then there's going to be another line. And suddenly you realize you're stuck on that hill, perhaps. Mm. So where do you think the actual main battle was then? Is that where we are now? No, that's across there. That's, that's across that one there, yeah? That's Mice Cat on the map, on the old map, that's known as Mice Cadillac Wood. Oh, this, this oh, the that, wood's Mice Cadillac Wood. That wood in the, on the, lying in the valley there. Yeah. And then that's Mice Cadillac there. And that goes on for, for quite a way. The Mice Cadillac is the field of the battle area. Yeah, yeah. So they were that funneled towards that the, then? Yeah, that goes across the Gadlis, which you, if you go on the top of that, you can see Gadlis in the, in the distance. Okay. And you can see Langanoid in the distance as well. Marvellous. In fact, I think that's uh, Langanoid up there. Idle, vi that white village? Yeah. You get a bit closer, you will see the, okay. the church. Okay. So it's actually that, ba that's the battlefield there then? Yeah. Yeah. If you, if you go by the map. Or what it says. Yeah, as far map. as we know, yeah. Mice yeah. Cadillac, that, it would be on there. And if you just go over the other side of that that uh, that part of the hill there, the mountain there, then you will see the mounds over there. There's two or three... Oh, that's the one to see the mounds, yeah. yeah well, the mounds are right over that far side, with it yeah, all yeah, over there. Yeah, so I mean, it's a huge area. Okay, all right. It's a huge area. Cut across the top of the wood there, because you can see the small burial mounds there. Okay. But if we cut up and we, we hang a left, we'll see more entrenchments. On, on that side, following the, the for the Gavraith Road all the way round, and then there's a lane that leads down to um, leads all the way down then onto the uh, a, the large burial mound. One large okay. Burial, and there's cool. a lot of smaller burial mounds in the same field as well. All right. Well, that's what you want to see, isn't it? If that's yeah. not too far, let's do that. I mean, come back and come back another day for the rest of it. Brilliant. Oh, thanks you. So we're off on our travel with these brave archaeologists on our journey to look around and generally find out more about Welsh stuff. Like this big battle site. What do you think it is? Look at this. Imagine if someone tried to march an army through that little bushy bit. This basically is a better idea, right? Look, there's two big slopes on each side. Now why would they do that? And I think all you need to look at on the map as well is where the key choke points are. So I know with the, the fortresses, we looked at those in the map, you can see, you know, like on those half, yeah, yeah. or all the rivers really, there's yeah, certain points yeah. you can cross, and all of them have got a fort on them. Yeah. They didn't spy there, but there's, no, there's hardly any Roman footprint around here, is it? They <laughs> thought, we're not going in there, we no. give that a miss, we'll just go around the coast. Mm. You know, the Roman thing. Yeah. Even, if, even if they did have 
three legions, it's only about 12,000 people. Population of 10 million in a massive country, 12,000 people are going to hold it down with swords. How on earth would you do that? It's only by consent if anyone was here at all. No, isn't it? Okay, there's Fort de Goffraith there again. Um, we've obviously just walked around. So is it Fort de Goffraith? That's the path, yeah, the yeah, road. The yeah, road's the forum, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, there that'll uh, lead around to the other side of uh, Mice Canlow there. So the road goes and all the way around. You know, we've, we've just come right away around the perimeter of um, what is it by? Men of the Biden there. Men so, of the Biden, right, yeah. yeah. So. Entrenchments just ahead of you there, see just just above the sheep are following. Oh, yeah, the road. yeah, yeah, I can see them. Following the inside curve of the road is more. Uh, if you look in the older maps as well, you can see them on the on the other side of the left hand side of the road, um, but they're not so not so clear now. Um, they are on the maps as well, aren't they? They're on the maps, they're on the old um, 1888 maps, I think you can you can see them uh, on there. And for future reference, further along the other side of the two wooded areas. There's a, uh, a very large fort called Bolchlan. Bolchlan. Or Bolchlan. I'm not sure if I pronounce it properly. But there's a ring then, there's a, a ring of forts leading, leading all the way along to um, the top of Margam. And there's lots of entrenchments following them all the way along as well. Oh, do you realize it's so extensive? Yeah, yeah, it's huge. It's huge. I was expecting one hill with trenches around it and, you know. No, no. It's like a hill fort, I was expecting. No, this is more than a hill I mean, fort. It just indicates what a big battle it was. It must have been a huge battle. It was a campaign, wasn't it? They, yeah. were, they were trying to invade. You've got to push them around for a while first. Like I said, yeah. supplies are going to run out, aren't they? Because you can't eat off the land here. No. You can't do it. One well, of the great example, advantages of being animal based instead of crop based is you can move animals. Yeah, yeah. You haven't got to destroy all your crops. You just and move they carry them. themselves, don't they? Yeah. As long as you've got water. As long as you've got water. For if them. you know the enemy's coming this way, you just move all the animals away. Yeah. Yeah. There's no there's nothing to steal, is there? Maybe yeah. get some fruit off the trees, but not, there's not enough to keep an anim, army going. I would have thought as well is that there would have been uh, entrenchments along that, that hill there. And if you've got up there, possibly, what, maybe what's, not. In, in, in the language, what's interesting as well is that you've got, it's, uh, it's not a field where there was a battle, a battlefield. It's Maiskadla, so it's it's battle area. Oh, the area. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's 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 bigger than that. Did you say Kadla is battle area? Yes. Yes. Mm. Okay. So what about three or four miles altogether? A mile and a half from where we last were. Up by those fortifications. So there's more forestry planted here as well. I always wonder what these forests are hiding. Oh yeah, proper nature. Yeah. I hope it's just a windbreak. Quite a few of these new forests seem to appear right where you want to find uh, something of interest historically. Yeah, it's amazing how that happens. Some of the mounds you can hardly see because of the trees. Yeah, a monkey tump. Yeah. Inaccessible the mound I used to play as a child. So around this corner, we actually get to the field of battle. All this area here, right the way across. And where's the field itself then? Yeah. So this whole area would be part of it really, wouldn't it? area pretty much, it's not any specific field, this uh, the entire area. Yeah. Obviously there's been a road, the farmers cut a road through there. How long ago, who knows? Yep. Yeah. yeah, it does seem part of the landscape, isn't it? I mean, I think this entire area from here, right way across to the base of uh, uh, the Biden there, is the, uh, the, the battle area. Well, by all accounts, there's a lot of moving going on, marching and counter-marching and that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. This wasn't just two armies walking up and saying, let's have a fight here. No, no. They moved around and moved around. There'd been a lot of probing, wouldn't they? Then? Yeah, and tire them out. Get them hungry, tired, ruin their sleep, night attacks, all that kind of thing. So I, I, imagine, I, I imagine, anyway, from the accounts I've read, that the field of the battle would be the final decisive point, rather than the only point of, or the only place of fighting. So it's a campaign, isn't it? This is the name of the area here. Uh, you see burial mounds, and uh, where the bodies were pushed from or taken. Yes, we had to bury the bodies, didn't we? Yeah. Okay. Serious health hazard, never mind religious reasons. 
Yes? Did the assassins actually take any of them out? Take out any Welsh troops or anything? Oh, I'm sure they... Yeah, well, it's two burial mounds is the idea. We'll have a look now. One for the fallen Welsh. I don't know the details. It's very hard to tell. It's a bit like the bullfighting with that uh, Spanish uh, delicacy I was telling you about. You got a small mound with the Welsh in it and a very large mound with the Saxons in it, probably. I think you got bulls <laughs> guys. Uh oh, we don't like bulls. Bulls are scary. Oh, the yeah. Is it? Yeah. So, That's can we see the burial mounds from here? Yeah, they're just on the other side there. Oh, how annoying. Oh yeah, because I see some mounds. There's a good point there for anyone to do try this. There's gorse running all the way up there. Right, yeah. That's one big, huge mound. Oh, really? Yeah. Wow, I don't see that big. Yeah, it's huge. It's a bit... When I first came up, I thought I just thought it was a hedge. But when I got closer to it, I thought, oh, you're joking me, you're kidding me. Wow. But it's one big, huge mound. That whole thing is a mound. They're proper mounds. I had no idea that big. And just one thing there, if you are exploring like this, Obviously close all gates, don't upset any farmers. But if you do see a bull, best to leave that field straight away. It's not worth it. Wow, it's so steep these slopes are. What's it safety tips for My safety <laughs> for, for Well historians more than archaeologists really. Archaeologists sort of dig things up and make stories to fit. We're going the other way around, we are. We're starting with a written record and seeing if it agrees with what we find afterwards. And so far it certainly does. Well, thanks. Yeah, I'm sure the video is a lot more it's a lot more appealing to the younger market when you do them on. See the top gear Toyota dome there? There's two big mounds there. Not reasonably big there. Sorry, say it again? The top gear Toyota, I see it just the other side of that gorse they've got spotted. Oh yes, 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 yes. There. Oh, there's little mounds there, yeah, I can see. Anywhere where you can see gorse growing, there's, there's generally mounds there, you know? Right, the gorse is the clue. Yeah. Interesting. So the soil's been disturbed and everything, it's... Uh... I am been down the other side of this tree line yet, in the other fields. I am been down in that area. I think there's probably a lot more to invent, you know? <laughs> To reveal itself. So it makes sense to have more than one mound. I mean, you're not going to drag all the bodies from miles around to one place, are you? You, no. you build I mean, a few. There's, there's, there's Gadless across there. That's Gadless. There's Langanoyth across there. You can see the big the, the church there. And the, the oh, right, I'm with you. Yeah, that's Langanoy yeah. there. Langanoy. And I don't know if you, you can see, but see that uh, that forest there on the top? Yes. Well, if you kind of see the field the far, the, on the, the the edge of the forest there, if you come back, there's a there's a big hill fort there. You can just see the outline of it. It's like a red. You can see it like it's a yellow Oh yes, green. I can see it. Yes. You see where it's cut in red. This where that spur of trees in. come down. Yeah, follow the spur down, and yeah, just the other left hand side of it. You can see the the outlines of the fort there. Okay. My best camera today. I'll try and see. zoom in with this one. Yeah, that would run. There's forts there running all the way along the other side. There's also fortifications there, but the ground is quite marshy. Oh, the distances they covered as well, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, yeah. What else I have to try and remember when we, whenever I'm doing these outwards things is they they were fit guys. Yeah, yeah. They were fit guys, you know? And they were on horses as well. Well, I mean, some of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. But a bloke on foot in those days would be quite happy to, uh, you know, yomp 12, 15 miles, wouldn't yeah, be? Yeah, I mean, knowledge of the land is key as well, isn't it? Yes. You know? You know, I might be a bit whacked after four or five miles, but those boys were a lot fitter, weren't they? They, oh, they, yeah. they could cover vast distances. Yeah. yeah. I mean, especially if you grow up in areas like this, it's, it's in your blood, isn't it? Yeah, and if you do it every day. But even the Saxons, you know, they were tough guys. Oh, yeah, of course they were. They were fit, weren't they? they? You know, they yeah. could walk the miles. Yeah. yeah. I, they think nothing of them two weeks ago. Yeah. Well, I learned a lesson from Arnie when we went up to Mbalo a couple of years ago, and, uh, you know, you got the supposed the, 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 the hill fort on the top. Okay. You know, at the top of the, the park, right? I wonder if they're all quicker than you did. Yeah, I was struggling up and panting and wheezing and thinking I could see how these hill forts were impenetrable. Yeah. Halfway up, Arnie's run up to the top, told, had a look, run back down, then come back up with yeah. me the second yeah. time, you know? <laughs> so you fit me young, oh, you did it. Yeah. You, did the, you did the hill twice on, didn't you? We were still labouring up the first time I, I think was. If you're, if you're a man in your 50s, though, you ain't going to be in the infantry, are you? No, you're not going to be storming if hills, if yeah. If you've survived that long, in them days, fighting battles. I mean, well, it's the old boys who did have the horses, yeah, weren't they? Yeah. In fairness. Until you were 50 years. 
up as young men running up and down those hills. Going. Yeah, I was surprised the old kings lived a good old age, didn't they? Yeah. Well, I reckon most of them would have been between about 14, as young as that, I think, 14 and 30. What, what would you think? Between 25 and 35 is your prime. Well, your prime units, but I think it'd be a lot of young lads there and stuff, gathering stones, chucking stuff, skirmishing. Yeah, 35, 40 you're experienced in there, <coughs> if you have survived, you're intelligent enough and physical enough to survive. You'd probably be some sort of officer or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, see, you look at things like World War One and that. There's a lot of luck involved as well, isn't there? Let's see, look at World War One and stuff. I mean, the ages of the officers were frighteningly young. Yeah. The guys in their teens are running these things. So I think the youngsters. Oh my God, is that bull getting nearer? Up on the brow of the hill there. Look. Looking at us. Bulls can't see that far. Yeah. So thanks to Hugh, and I hope you enjoyed the video. We've got new Wilson Blackett books coming out, new videos coming out, all sorts, but we do need some help, please. So if you'd like to consider just dropping a couple of quid in the Patreon box, that'd be fantastic. Until the next time, Hedoog!